your drum videos suck. That's what I wish I told myself about 10 years ago. Knowledge. Knowledge. First rule of the drumming video ecosphere. Everybody puts their drum videos forward. They put their drums on a flat wall like this and it looks like poo poo. This is my fiance, by the way. They'll have a back wall like this and then they'll just put their drums, their bass drum out there and then they'll put the camera right in front of there and that looks stupid. The whole point of a video is to create a three dimensional space. So if you have a flat wall with a flat drum and a camera right here shooting forward like this, it's going to look super flat. Whereas for example, in this kind of shot, you're seeing a corner, you're seeing all these weird different lights. I've got a practical light over here. The wall is over here on my left. So, and the drum kit is also angled in a certain way. And those things make this more palatable to the visual eye. Here's the first thing I would suggest you do when you before you set up your drums go into a room like this look at a corner and say okay that's what I'm gonna that my camera is gonna shoot towards that corner pretend you're the camera first then build everything around where the camera is gonna be so you have the corner then you set your drums up now you don't want to set your drums up straight ahead like everybody else does on the internet you want to cockeye it so you want to put it kind of off to the side a little bit this specific kind of situation is a little odd because we have this uh couch and stuff and then i'm going to go over the lighting every single drum video i've ever seen they show the lighting meaning like you'll see the light in this in the frame Notice you don't see any lights besides this light, which is called a practical light, which is meant to be seen. Everything else, which I'm going to show you right now, ding, 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 that, ding, those lights aren't seen in the shot. That's how you want your video to look. Now, this light right here, this is your main light. So this light, this source of light is called a key light. We're not gonna get into crazy uh, Kelvin talk and stuff like that, but pretty much you want white. This is a white light that is right here above my head. Now, this is another important thing. You want to cast shadows. So see how there's shadow on this side of my face? That makes it dramatic, it makes it look cool. So to create shadows, you put the light on one side, not right in front of you, not right behind you. You could even do it above. A lot of people like to do the above. Now over here, I have an orange light that's bouncing off of this, but believe it or not, it's supposed to match the color of this. So it's as if in your brain, this light is really bright and it's kind of showing up fill over here. And then I decided to light my beautiful fiance because without this light back there, it's really dark and moody. And I wanted to bring a little bit of depth. So if this is just black back here, you can't t see what's back there and then there's no depth involved. And it's all about layers. You want foreground, which is in the front right here. Then you have me, then you have background. So all of these layers create something that's palatable for your camera experience. If this specific lighting video does well, and I get a lot of comments about how sick this is and how you guys want to hear more about cameras, the slider that we're using right now, correct exposure, drumming, things like that. I would love to go over it, but first, this little video has to do decent before I decide to dump more time into other videos. So comment what you want to see down below, comment any questions you have down below, and let's get to rocking.